Let's take a look at another example. Make it a little bit more interesting. Suppose I give you a set like A, and this set, as you know, we're using a proper symbol, is defined as set of A, comma, set of B, comma, set of C. Okay, guys, this set is different from the set but that we defined in previous example. In previous example, we had the following. We had set S with elements A, comma B, comma C. This set says, hey, I have different elements. As you can see, the members of set A are sets themselves. So Eric, the answer to your question is yes. Note that. The elements or members of set S are sets themselves. Very good. So first of all, the very first question that you should be asking is, what is the cardinality of this set? What is the size of this set? N of this set, or again, guys, if you open different discrete map book or set theory book or number theory book, you might see these different symbols representing the size of the set. The size of set A or the cardinality of set A, how many members do we have? Well, let us just count them. The very first member is this set. This is the first member. The second member and the third member. Okay, it's not that complicated. The size of this set is three. So the cardinality is three. It has three members, just three. Okay. So we talked about the members of this set. We're going to say that, hey, the set including A, is a member of set A. Guys, you cannot write A as a member of set A. A itself is not a member of A. Just make sure you are using a proper symbol. This is the first member. This guy as a set is the second member. This guy as a set is the third member. Set including B is a member of this larger set, set A. Again, note that B itself is not a member. Of course not. You can see that right here, the members are sets themselves. And the same for C. And the same color. And note that C is not in A. Very good. Okay. Question. What if I write the set this way? Set B is the set including, well, a set A comma B, and that's it. What is the cardinality of this set? They're trying to make these cases 
the way that we can answer them. It's not just always about a simple set like this. You might have more complicated, more complex form. Okay, as you can see, the cardinality of this set is just one. This is just one member, one member. So N of B or the cardinality of B is just one. You only have one member. So you're going to represent it this way. You're going to say that, hey, the set including A and B belongs to set B. Guys, you cannot write A belongs to B. You cannot write B belongs to B. Both of them are wrong. They are not members. A set including A and B is a member of set B.